Welcome to Session 3 of Configuring Your RMS System. In this topic, we will take you through the RMS recommended settings for adding categories. Before we start, let's break down what categories are. Your property is made up of many areas. You may call these rooms, apartments, or sites. Each of these areas is grouped into a category. You may call them room, apartment, or site types. A typical grouping for an apartment building may be one, two, and three bedroom apartments. For caravan parks, it may be tent sites, permanent sites, powered and unpowered sites. For hotels and motels, it may be studio, one bedroom, and spa rooms. There is no right or wrong grouping. This will be governed by how you advertise your categories to your guests. There is no limit to the number of categories that you can add into your system. However, each category should contain at least one area. To add categories, select Setup from the top navigation bar. Select Category Area from the list. Select Add. For this example, we will take you through the minimum information that you are required to enter to save a category in your system. For further information on each of the tabs that you see on this screen, select Help in the top right corner for a complete breakdown of all options. Enter a short description for your category. For this example, we will add Studio. This description will show on your online booking page if you have chosen to use the RMS online module and will also appear on receipts, statements and tax invoices. Enter a maximum number of occupants per area. This is the maximum number of guests that can stay in the areas within this category. As we are adding a studio apartment, I will set my maximum to two. Select a GL ACC code from the predefined drop-down list. This will become the account code which all revenue for this category will report under. If you are adding an interconnecting category, meaning that two different areas can be booked separately or as one, you will need to tick the option Interconnecting Category. If you have chosen to use the housekeeping feature of RMS and you wish to include this category in the housekeeping reports, you will need to tick the option Include on Housekeepers Reports. Lastly, if you have chosen to use the RMS Online module, we recommend that you enter the number 1 into the field Number of Areas to Hold from RMS Online. By doing so, this will stop your online booking page from being able to book the last area remaining in that category. The exception to this rule would be where only one area exists in the category. Once each of the steps have been completed, select Save Next. If you receive this message to exclude this room type from existing security profiles, select No. You are now ready to add your next category. That brings us to the end of the topic, Adding Categories. We will now move on to Topic 2 of Session 3, Adding Areas.